They're looking for a ball. Davis said, let them warm it up. Both these guys are good. Playing on the right is Killer, Makarowski, and on the left is Brad Fully. Killer got to, I think, 45 in the world, and is still one of the tough players in Sydney to play, let me tell you that. And then you've got uh, Brad on the, uh, on the left, who I actually played against his dad, uh, Mick, who's still a good player, and has um, instilled some of his work on Brad. Brad's trying to get into it and play six days a week and trains hard and yeah, definitely a struggling squash player as it so happens to be. This is going to be fast. So if you can't see it at home, you'll get an idea with the body language.
getting a good crowd rocking up here to watch this. This will be fun. And apparently there's going to be about 1,500 people watching this in the next 24 hours. Rexy here at Thornley does a great job. They've put on the gym. I hadn't seen it since I'd arrived. Looks good. Well done to Pete for helping organise the funds to do it all. And Dave's definitely no stranger to doubles. Going five campaigns at the Commonwealth Games and last at the Gold Coast winning gold with Zach Alexander. And that's played on a full size doubles court which is about four foot wider and the tin is 17 inches opposed to I think about 19. So it's a bit wider, it's almost like two singles courts and the one down the middle is often a, a dangerous shot. At the moment it's all fun. Laugh, time to swap. Rexy's warming up. <laughs> you see this is pretty formal. And John Small's refereeing and scoring. And some facts. Dave used to do a lot of coaching for Killer. He's taught him a, a lob and the cross court on a wrong foot almost, which is hard to pick. Really did work on his game and improved him. Now they're playing against each other. All right, black to serve. DJ to serve, NB to receive. Best of five games. Love off. Best of five and to nine points. It's sudden death at eight all. that lob. Oh no. <laughs> uh, John Small's a good scorer. <laughs> oh jeez.
Here we go. Oh. Players are warming up. I'll go for a shot soon. You're supposed to cover that, Dave. Tins from Dave. done before <laughs> he's not warm he is now Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, 
so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NDL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at penitillstoyota.com.au. Welcome to Pennant Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NDL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au. So they have lowered the tin to 17 inches after Dave's four tins. I think it's, it's, it's a good sign. Nine, ga nine two. Let's hope it helps him. You start all over again. <laughs> That's the request from Dave. <laughs> Oh, he felt comfortable at a go. Oh, wow. Slow mo that. Toyota. What a feeling. Meanwhile, he's the sponsor just in front of me. Wow, he picks that up, doesn't he? Being the eldest here. <laughs> it's like when you see golfers, you know, they hit it into the rough. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> yeah, Dave's coming into the front. Nice. Yeah, yeah. Back in volley shank. Oh, at him. Doesn't miss it when I'm playing. Yeah, 
he knows. He's hitting the side wall on him now. Watch out, the next one will be down the middle. There we go. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, lowering that tin helped. <laughs> That's a missed one. Yes, uh, uh, he's a good scorer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's two points. Shot, he's nailed that. Brad Flick. Yeah, yeah, he's trying to be pro. He's, yeah, he's, he's doing really well, yeah. He's putting in a lot of work. Famous lob. Brad's 23. His dad's 58, 59. Nice shot. The killer's about 30, he's 16 years younger than me. I'm 53, so he'd be 37. I think Dave's 47? 47, yeah. Dave Palmer. Yeah. Oh. So it's about 20 years since he had his mate. I haven't seen that long ago. Or was he a bit of a mate? Hey, Dave. Well, 2002, he won the uh, British. 2000. He's missed him out, he missed him. Wow, and he's nailed it. <laughs> Quite to see that in slow mo. Jeez. Oh, mate, that must have skinned him. I think it might have nicked him. Unless it got between his legs. Gee whiz. <laughs> it would have hurt. It would have hurt. <laughs> There we go. And it's time to raise the tin. <laughs>
Welcome to Pennant Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NBL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au. Good shot. Bow stick. Oh, you just missed it. Down. Two tins in a row. Oh, he's had a go. Shot. Skills down. I think it's a lot of the coaching that he's doing. And yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> he's in front, front of the line. I'm sure he's in front of the line, John. He's in front of that line, you know. Oh, it would have hurt. <laughs> that was the evil eye, mate. supporters uh, well one
great length. Hey, did that look easy? Welcome to Pennant Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NBL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au. Welcome to Pennant Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NBL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au. The real big double scores, just yeah. make it like two single scores sort of thing, yeah. and go on forever. Yeah. Had the official time of two hours and seven minutes for two games. The last game, the last game went for eight minutes or something. First two went for over an hour each. Crazy. Well, it's purely an endurance game. Oh. Your shoes are drenched. Everything's wet, mate. Ah, oh, good block. Shot. Look at that hip movement. That's a double shot. <laughs> He's learnt. Yeah. Yeah. Nice shot. Yeah. <laughs> He's got it. Oh, David giving up on that one. I love that cross court. Oh, it's still going. Oh, <laughs> oh geez. It hasn't changed, John. Catch. Oh. <laughs> Come on. Go up and give him five. Here he goes. Five he goes. One, two, three, four. <laughs> That'll teach you. Hey! <laughs> Oh, 
Yeah, nice shot. Well done, Brad. Well scored, Nick. Wide one. Oh! That would have hurt. That would have hurt. He wound that up, too. Down the middle, got him. Nice behind the back shot. Ah, oh, another good block. I mean, good shot. Five push ups. <laughs> <laughs> it's ten there. Oh. Oh, another mistake. I said you're a good scorer, John. That was the one he wanted. Missed it. Tried to block him. There you go. Dave and his volleys. Here we go. Wow, that's a long way. <laughs> oh, interesting. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> the handle. <laughs> uh, <it's laughs> yeah. <laughs> 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 so you don't have any more rackets left. <laughs> can I can I borrow your racket? Why? Because I just smashed mine. <laughs> Nobody offered, did they? They were like, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> well, it's good effort to call. Eh? Tried to block him. Oh, oh. Ah, couldn't get out of the way.
You had a fine road to hit that ball through. Yeah, no, I just got a little bit nervous after a run. What's up there? Next time. He's yeah. using my racket, let him have a Yeah. It's in. It's a good lob. Not one. Ah, volley. There we go. Dave's hit the perfect length and he's got it back. They're all hitting good lengths and tight. And volley. <laughs> Hit it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> him into the racket. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Jeez. Oh, memories. He dropped his racket in the middle of the court and was diving without one and he asked for let and he got one. Confusion. Sudden death, eight all. Match ball, game ball. Match ball, game ball. Oh, I didn't go for it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Match ball, game ball. That's select. <laughs> Oh, 
got it. Yours, Dave. Dave's got it. <laughs> Two each. Welcome to Pennant Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NDL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au. Welcome to Pennant Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NDL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au. So I think uh, half of these guys here are, are, are masters eligible. <laughs> and the Australians on in Canberra, like September. Oh, he got him. Well done. Yeah, it's worth asking. <laughs> yeah. That's the fifth set, so gone. Nice shot, cross court nip. Mistake. <laughs> Rexy's making up punishments for the losing team. Oh, this is tight. 
<laughs> I have given up. <laughs> oh, he did. Good lob. Too good a lob. Well done. Mm. Uh, great cross court drop. Back end's getting a workout. Oh, he's had a go. Another one. Oh, it's tight. Wow, rally into a let. So this is the way it is with one guy forehand, one guy backhand. So yeah, that's the way doubles will work, yeah. You generally get one one forward, one back, great volley. You usually get one bloke that'll attack. No. It doubles is good for, you know, bringing on your skills for attacking, learning to have a crack at it. Oh, too much. Oh, too many tins, guys. Hard to remember that it's to nine, so you know, two points away. Right shot. Ooh, Matt's having a crack. Great shot, Dave. Back of the court. Short nick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was listening.
Dave that is, he'll have a go of the nick. Oh, reverse both. The corkscrew server, what? Here we go. Uh, we've got that, how do you do that? Oh. Uh, called a let. Yes, mate. <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Nice, you got it. Yeah, lovely. Great match, guys. semis or finals and it went back and forth and um, different characters so you got someone like Peter Nicol who was like very disciplined one of the fittest guys very patient you got Jonathan uh, one of the best shot players of all time very tough to play on the court um, emotional yeah a little bit <laughs> <laughs> um, and then you got someone like John White that was sort of played this sort of Brett Martin style very open uh, hard I was fortunate enough I traveled a lot trained with Johnny I Got beat up a lot in practice, so that helped me a lot in playing him in, in proper three same matches. So those three guys were really tough, and then obviously, like I said, little pieces more like Terry Linku, Shabana, Darwish, Will Stroff was there, uh, Nick Matthews started to come up, and then right at the end of my career was obviously Randy, and I just got Shabagi and Livy at the end. So yeah. um, there was tons of other guys that I haven't mentioned. So yeah. it's very difficult, different styles, different personalities. Uh, but yeah. It's very hard to say one because you know, it's very tricky. But, uh, but yeah, I was looking back. I was fortunate to play in two or three different eras. So, yeah. so I got a question to run off the bat. Would you say that when it comes to today that they should really come to understand their personality and become the player of their personality and work to help that based on what we're saying? Yeah. I always think like if you took all the top 
10 guys in any generation, probably 80%, 85% were all doing the same thing as far as technique, tactics, and then each person puts their own sort of 15, 20% spin on it, their own personality to it. And, um, and that's often what, at the end of the day, being so close in the sport, it's, it's that couple points here and there that uh, you, you win or you lose. So but I think 85 is pretty much pretty similar. We all hit the ball pretty much the same, but you all have your own, obviously, different. You've got different styles, obviously, the Australian style, the English style, the traditional style, obviously, the Egypt, Egypt dominance of the game. Um, and then you've got a, a mixture, like living in America, you've got a bit of everything. Because there's lots of Australian coaches over there, you've got lots of English coaches, and now lots of Egyptian coaches. So seeing the juniors come up, it's, it's fun to see their different styles. You can sort of, okay, that's a that's coach, a Terry coach, and that's you can see Nick Matthews is coaching a lot. Um, Lothier is coaching a lot of guys recently now since he's retired. So it's good to see all the guys guys around. Why is Egypt so strong in squash and what can we learn? Uh, I just think it's 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 probably the I think in Egypt, I think behind soccer like football, it's probably squash is the second biggest sport over there. So they don't have as many sports as like countries like Australia which does. Um, and just the number of players, like they've just got like thousands and thousands of junior players just playing. Obviously the sports become popular because of Armour Brada was the first big name and he was in my early generation as well. And then you've got amazing players like Shabana, Darwish, Rami, Shabagis, uh, Ali Farag. And it's just been a non-stop over the last 20 years to just keep producing. But I hear there's junior tournaments of like under nine divisions with three or four hundred players playing in under nine draws. And you see the courts there, they've got big centres but there's ten kids fighting to be on the court because there's too many kids playing. So. You're playing three-quarter court and there's ten people in front of you, you learn to win pretty quickly to stay in. So it's, it's a combination of that. Obviously they have their own style and personality, but um, I think it's just purely they've got the numbers, it's got popular, the players have become very famous in their home countries, they do well. Um, I think it's just purely a numbers game and that's what all the other countries around the world, we have to try to get it going again. So. Benny, Benny, you had a question? Yeah, uh, for Jacob, I was just wondering uh, how difficult it was uh, carrying the team tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, well, I mean, I nearly took my old player out, so yeah, I would have been asking as you guys know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but Matt, so, yeah, so, Matt. Like, Matt, so you, did you go, I can't remember if you guys played together in the Com games, or didn't play together? No, no. no. We, we played... Uh, World, world doubles, I think. Yeah, we played world, world doubles, doubles and we yeah. obviously practiced all the doubles together. And then obviously yeah. Matt was over training the academy for quite a few years. And you were his coach for a while. I yeah. was for a while, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I'm surprised so, you admit it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We, yeah. And again, I know Matt for since he was a junior. I grew up with his older brother. Uh, played juniors here. Again, I had fond memories of this place. This is like, obviously. A lot of junior events. Uh, this is the pinnacle of squash growing up as a kid in, in Australia, coming to the centre, playing tournaments here. So good memories, and it's great to see it doing so well and uh, refurbished. That looks great, and uh, so nice to be back back on the court again. So. Quick question about uh, you've been in the US now for eight years, is it eight or nine? Eight uh, years now? More than that? 16, 17. 16? Wow. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, Cornell. Down, yeah. Corn <laughs> yeah. Six, let's say 16. <laughs> 16, but at Cornell. Uh, eight years at Cornell. Eight years at Cornell. With the announcement of uh, sports in the Olympics, yep. did you feel that there was a distinct change uh, in everybody's attitude in the US overnight, or was it just uh, yep. everybody being. I, sort of yeah, I, I think it was probably a timely thing. Obviously, as again, any squash player knows, we've been trying to get into this Olympics for the last 30 years, since Sydney 2000. Um, so, amazing. I, again, obviously, every year we seem to come close, and in my career, I thought I was going to get one, maybe, and then obviously it didn't happen, and then we I think everyone went through a period when we thought maybe, okay, it's never going to happen. Um, and the fact that I, I really think... Not to say, obviously, that I'm sure I'm sure World Squash Federation, but I think US Squash had a, a lot to do with the LA bid. Um, yeah. Obviously, the women's uh, US team is doing very well at the moment. Probably the second best team behind Egypt. They got four or five top players, top twenty. Um, so it, it was a timely boost. I know I was talking to Rex today in America at the moment. Pickleball is booming. 
Cadell is taking off. We're definitely under pressure with these new racket sports, and I think it was a great time that we got the Olympics. Uh, so I really hope now we get the we get the, uh, the the resources to really help develop the game now. Obviously, we always play in Commonwealth Games. It was always we got funding for two years, and then it, for the next two years, it was because we were an Olympic sport. There was no funding, and then so I really hope all the federations can take advantage of that more funding. And I think it was a great excitement um, and again we're again I sat down with Kevin Clipstein just a couple of days at the US Junior talking to him and yeah everyone's excited to see now they it's such a big push to get it he was saying now they're just sitting back for a little bit they're gonna see obviously he's planned for LA um, and try to it's not only again he made a good point it's not only just the one on the kids is trying to make sure we get it in Brisbane for the next Olympics as well so I don't think we should just be sitting back and, and happy now. He was talking about it's really, okay, they've done a great job. They want to help. They want to, and hopefully Squash Australia will get involved, and I'm sure they will. And it's about getting it in, in Brisbane in 2032. 30, 30, 30. So, and then continuing it. Um, I think, it, again, I, I think it, again, I'm not 100% sure I'm hearing there won't be doubles. There's not going to be team events and be straight singles. But whatever the first one, it's just great that it'll be in there. And, I think two players per country, um, so it will be a fire, and I think it's a great, some of the players at the end, of, sort of coming to the end, it'll be interesting now to see whether they can push for four more years, five more years to, to hang on. Guys like the Baggies, Ali Farag, Paul Cole, uh, there's lots of, lots of players that sort of maybe were thinking maybe maybe going to retire, but now I'm sure everyone's going to be focusing. Uh, to, to, win, to win that gold medal, the first Olympics will be worth, worth a million bucks. So. Just, oh. just finishing, Dave. 232 draws, men's and women's. That's all it is. That's what I heard, yeah. 32 yeah. draws, yeah. So. Bondi, how, how are you staying fit? Um. <laughs> <laughs> quiet. Be <laughs> <laughs> <Actually>, quiet. <laughs> so, I love to be on the court. Uh, again, I, I, when I'm coaching, I'm, I'm coaching at Cornell. I've got 30, I've got 15 on each team. So, I've got 30 athletes now. I'm still coaching some PSAs, doing lots of camps, but... I like to be on court as much as I can. So, and I'm on court every day feeding, sometimes in the routine, sometimes part of it, sometimes feeding, sometimes watching. Do you do any off court work? Sorry? Do you do any off court work? No, no. I, my days of, I, again, I did so much in my career. I don't, I don't like running anymore. I don't like biking. Uh, so my fitness is just playing. I just love to play. I get on with my guys as much as I can. Uh, I love feeding and being on the court. But, uh, and you eat healthy? I try. I try. <laughs> but, uh, it's, uh, Come on, well, give it up. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I was doing lots of things you didn't eat I before. thought I was moving pretty good there tonight. You were. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so, luckily, you had that wall. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, well. you, you were hitting pretty well, too. Just but, right. uh, any, any lasting injuries from your no, elbow? Touch wood, nothing major. I've been fortunate. Um, Again, little ones during my career, but nothing major that put me out. So, um, obviously, definitely want to try to be as active as I can. 47 now, so I want to try to be on court it? playing. Sorry? Do you miss it? Yeah, of course. 100%. Yeah. I miss, miss it. I follow it again. I'm uh, really happy with what we have. We, again, I'm coaching at Cornell. I'm doing lots of summer camps, uh, but I'm also working with some pro players as well. Um, it just keeps my interest moving around, and it's nice to be involved. Still watching a lot of, a lot of squads. My daughter Wiley's watching it with me, so that's nice. Uh, taking her around is, is good, but uh, I love the game still. I love watching. Uh, I'm still learning. Again, I feel like I'm still watching, learning, seeing where I can where I can pick up the tips. Uh, so uh, I like being at the tournaments, coaching my again. Don't travel as much as some of the full-time coaches, but when I can in the U.S., I get to the U.S. Open, TOC, um, Chicago, and it's nothing better to be courtside coaching one of my players. And uh, but I still miss being on the court. But it's nice to be still involved. I only need one thing we actually remember, to, you know, first. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I, 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 yeah, I'm trying to look after myself, and I just again yeah, like to be on court as much as I can and, and playing, whether it's. Feeding, playing, reaching around, but it's just nice to still be on hitting balls every day. So. Cool. If there's, uh, if there's no more questions, oh, that's right. Yeah. yeah. The kids. Yeah. They have to. They've got a target. Three and adults. <laughs> Three hundred court sprints in. <laughs> Three. My, my record was twelve.
Me, but I, maybe at some point um, we were lucky for a while. We had some uh, uh, we had some legend events on around the around the tour, and, and we had a couple of years where we were playing three, four of these tournaments, and they were they were good fun. And again, guys like Peter, Jonathan, John, Terry, myself, uh, and then a mix of some other players. So, uh, but yeah, again, I think anytime someone someone would put one on, I think the players would be there in a heartbeat. To uh, we still like to we. Again, it's we're all pretty much again mostly in the US, mostly coaching there, and it's not not unheard of at like on a Saturday morning tournament. It's eight o'clock in the morning, and and um, I walk in and here's Terry or John's coaching or Peter's coaching on this court, and there's other guys like PJ, Nick Taylor, and then the guy Mike Riley, who was one of the referees that's been done in 30 years, and he's refing like Miley at eight o'clock on a Saturday morning. Guys, ref me in the final of the World Open, so like it's a small, yeah, yeah, yeah. small world in that fact. But, uh, but yeah, it's uh, but again, I think the World Masters is a good event. I hear good things about it, and uh, I might look into it. No, no, don't, because we're planning a little tour. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm going to be participating. So tell your mates okay. that are in that top. Maybe even 100 to 35 to 39 last year. Just tell them to yourself, alright? Okay. Well, I heard Dolphin was going to be fine. Alright, well, I think we should put our hands together for the day. Alright, again, thank you guys again. Nice to be back again. I want to try to get back as much as I can. And, uh, Still follow what's going on. Really happy you guys at Rex and Thornley and New South Wales is doing great, and so sure there's other good clubs going around. So again, we've got to all work together and keep our great day going. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Please stay there. Hills Toyota, your local award-winning Toyota dealer. We've proudly been your Pennant Hills family-owned and operated Toyota dealer. State-of-the-art service facilities with factory-trained technicians, so your Toyota continues to have that oh what a feeling. We have a large collection of new and certified pre-owned Toyotas for immediate delivery. NBL 12957. Drop into your friendly family Toyota dealership or check us out at pennanthillstoyota.com.au.